Well, how's it going, everyone? My name is Miguel Fuentes, and welcome to the Kingdom Faith Outdoors channel, where I, uh, <clears throat> where I uh, go fishing, go out fishing, and also, uh, also uh, what's called um, you know, sharing the word of God to you guys as well uh, through uh, services and. Uh, Next week, I'm planning on doing a nightly revival. Um, if you can hear hooting in the background, we have some uh, barred owls mating right now, trying to communicate with their spouse, as they say. So, anyway, today's a cloudy day. It's Friday, uh, so I'm filming this today, and I'm also going to be filming it on either tomorrow after it's finished storming or just wait until Sunday so that I can have at least two videos out this week which I will which I will uh, post on Sunday so that you can watch all the videos on a week so I heard from the two fishermen to call a six pound uh, catfish. So hopefully there's some catfish around here. Let's go ahead and catch some fish. So here come our first cast of the day. I just come off, I just got off work today. And uh, you know, today's a pretty tough week for me. Um, right now I've been, um, I had a uh, pretty bad break uh, breakup this this past weekend, and uh, it was very def very very def devastating. Um, I don't know what I did wrong. I don't know what I did right. You know, but what it is, what it is. You know, she she choose. Not to be with me, but uh, you know I praise God that I have her in my life for a season, which this means that I'm going to be moving forward from now on. You know, breakup is a breakup. You know, you can't do nothing about it. Um. People are trying to get back together and reconcile, but 1% of the time, that doesn't work out well. And so, I have to learn how to move on as a man. The reason why she broke up with me, uh, now we're both poor. We We... I make fourteen fifty an hour. She makes fourteen an hour, and uh, she doesn't see us moving in together. Um, and uh, you know, or, or having our own place together because, and you know, in Raleigh, it is not cheap. Uh, apartment costs like. Uh, 500 to $2,000 just to rent one bedroom apartment. And without type of income, it's not going to be easy. Plus, we got to pay for the food and utilities and all that stuff and the phone bills on top of that. So, before I get into another date to looking for a wife, I have to increase my income. Doesn't matter if it's if it's a business. Doesn't matter if it's a new job that pays a lot more than the current one that I that I have. But hey. Is, is, is a part of life, you know, and 
Right now I'm still in a grieving process. I'm still in a, a, a my heart hurts still. Uh, I feel disappointed at myself. <laughs> and so it's going to be a you know, really, really tough time to get back in shape and um, it, you know, just move on with my life. Um, so thank guys for your prayers and continue on praying for me. You know, I am a lone ranger, as they say. Uh, I'm not against going to church. But right now, you know, the modern day church right now is becoming more, more worldly than this glorifying God, just to be honest. So it's, it's just a matter of time when, uh, when, when, when we, uh, When we, um, you know, to be a uh, born again believer, Now today's supposed to be rainy today, but it's gonna be rain after six o'clock. So I had to hurry and uh, I had to leave here by maybe 4.30, 4.45-ish to uh, go get my bike and head back home. But uh, I give God praise for what he has done in my life. Um, even though, yes, I'm still in pain, but God is good. All the time, he, we we serve a good, good Father, as as uh, the Bible says. You know, God will provide a wife for me. I just I just know that for sure. I have I have to have faith that God will uh, establish a foundation in my life. You know, it's not going to take overnight to, you know. To overcome these things. And, and yeah, I forgive her. She just write me a letter saying, you know, I love you, but I can't stay with you. All right. That's fine. I forgive you for hurting me. And I forgive you for not saying this you know, into my face, you know. Hey, but hey, what it is, what it is. I, you know, I give God praise for it.
There's something there. There's something there. Okay, well, first fish of the day, nice white perch. I know I didn't film the uh, the actual wielding in, but uh, my apologies. Um, but finally got some white perch on an early sp spring day. Oh, look at a beautiful fish! Beautiful, beautiful fish. Look at that. Nice white perch. Beautiful fish. And then I'm gonna take a picture in a uh in a um in a uh picture in a YouTube short really quick. Oops. Hey, how's it going in one? Well, coming on first fish of the day. White perch, baby. 
so beautiful. Let's go ahead and uh, release this guy. Let's catch another one. Alright, well, got that done. So, first fish of the day. I've been stunk for three, uh, for two days. Didn't go yesterday because I gotta do uh, general maintenance at the house. I don't know why, but white perch is a very interesting fish, I tell you. Um, All right, let's catch another one. Let's catch another one. Hopefully, oh, big splash. Hopefully there's some more around here. Hopefully there's one more. Come on, fishy, fishy, fishy! I know you're here. I know I want. I know you want this worm. So. Come on, come on. I know you're in there. Come on. Come on. I know you ain't in here. I know you're in here. Man, these ones give us a really bottom some. I tell you. This is me tapping. Get some vibration going. Oh, they're there. I just, just know it.
<laughs> hope you guys are having a great weekend. Oh, I mean, I hope you guys have a great weekend. So, uh, I tell you, it's been a rough week. It's been a rough week for me. Um, just continue on. Keep me in your prayers, as always. Um, I don't know what to tell you. What it is, what it is. So I just want to say thank you guys for for watching this video. I may cut one one more first uh, off off camera, but I want to show you a scripture in John three sixteen. It says for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that who that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Um, everybody likes to quote three six three sixteen, John three sixteen. One of the most favorite verses of everybody, um, every believer, every non-believer. But I'm here to tell you this is that in order to become part of the kingdom of God. You got to apply the scriptures into your life. Not just quoting scripture. The, the Pharisee loves to quote scripture, but they rather treat the traditions of man as scripture uh, and not follow the, the Messiah. Um, which, is, which is very, very bad. Um, but our lives, our, my whole life depends on the Lord Jesus Christ. Sometimes it may be rough. Life can be, can be tough. But understand this, that the Lord Jesus Christ cares about you. He wants to give you eternal life. He doesn't want to give you pain. He doesn't want to give you. He 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 just wants to set you free from any any types of any types of of um, of a uh, sin or addiction that you may have. He wants to set you free. I tell you. My life ain't perfect, but I know this, my Redeemer lives. Hallelujah. We see this through the scriptures. We see this through the Word of God.
But it's up to you to believe. To believe that the Lord Jesus Christ is the Son of God that saves mankind from the destruction of sin and death. Or are you just going to ignore it? And a lot of people love to ignore it. So, again, I thank God for watching. May God bless you. May God keep you. See you guys again next time. Bye. So far, no fish. I'll come back in here later. All right.